Hi, my name is Carrie. If you are new to the University of Manitoba Archives and Special Collections, this video will help you get started on your research. First, it is important to know where the Archives is located. The Archives has moved from its old location to a brand new facility on the third floor of the Elizabeth Defoe Library. Once inside the library, turn right and walk past the circulation desk. Head up the staircase to the third floor. There is a map at the top of the staircase showing the floor plan. The Archives is situated next to the Icelandic collection. Once in the Archives, you can hang up your coat and store your bag in a locker. An archivist will be at the reception desk to help you with your request. Tell him you are new to the Archives and he will help you find material on your topic. The Archives contains records on all kinds of subjects in a wide variety of formats, including diaries, letters, drawings, photographs, maps, rare books, audio and video recordings, and more. Some archival material has been digitized and is also available on the Archives website. Try to choose a research topic before coming to the Archives. With a clear idea of what you are looking for, the Archivist will be helpful in deciding which collections might contain information useful for your research topic. To find specific material in a collection, the Archivist will consult a finding aid. A finding aid describes a given collection's history of the creator or donor, what types of records can be found in the collection, as well as a detailed list of the files and content within a collection. There are hundreds of finding aids available for perusal, both at the Archives as well as on the Archives website. Once you've located material useful for your research in the finding aids, fill out a request slip and give it to an archivist. The information you give on a request slip, such as the collection number, box number, and name of the collection, helps the archivist retrieve the collection you've requested. Archival collections are organized and filed in acid-free folders placed in archival storage boxes. These boxes are then shelved in secured storage facilities. In total, the archives holds thousands and thousands of boxes Without the correct information on the request slip, the archivist might wander the stacks for hours and hours looking for the right collection. Once you've acquired the material you've requested, there are a few important rules to follow when using the material. Do not take the material out of the archives for security reasons. Do not bring food or drinks into the archives. Be careful with the material and use gloves when handling fragile records. Keep the material in order and do not mix documents of one folder with those of another. You can make copies of documents using the photocopier, the scanner, or a digital camera, provided you don't use the flash. You should also take the time to properly cite the material you're using by noting the collection name, call numbers, as well as the specific box and folder numbers. This information is useful for citing the material in your assignment and also makes the retrieval process easier in case you need to go back to the archives to look at the material again. You should now be ready to do research in the University of Manitoba Archives and Special Collections on your own.